Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video I'm going to be talking about angle mode and acro or rate mode and micro quads and FPV camera mix angle not camera angle camera mix angle because they are different so let's first just have a quick word about camera mix angle and where it is so camera mix angle is under the wrench here and it's this value here camera mix angle set at 17 degrees this is not camera angle this is not your cameras at 17 degrees this is your camera mix angle and I'll come on to explain what camera mix angle is the important thing to know is that it is turned on whether you're in angle mode or whether you are in rate mode and it is turned on because the micro quads come shipped by default in angle mode most pilots will be flying the micro quads in angle mode and most pilots will benefit from the project mockingbird tune that we're using on beta flight profile 2 and that tune uses camera mix angle to help you in the corners when you're in angle mode okay so what is this thing doing what is camera mix angle doing so when you're flying a micro quad you are typically flying it on throttle you've got some forward being held in to give you your forward speed so you're always holding forward on the right stick but for turning with micro quads you tend to be doing it on the yaw stick it's mostly yaw you don't tend to roll micro quads that much because when you roll them they tend to fall out of the sky so most of the control input is done on yaw and very little control input is done on roll but it actually does help to put in a little bit of roll when you're flying a micro quad just to help it in the corners and that's what camera mix angle is there to do it mixes roll and yaw and so you can fly the quad a micro quad in angle mode with camera mix angle turned on only on the yaw stick but it will mix in some roll in the corners for you automatically that's what it is there to do it's to make it easier to fly on just throttle and yaw and not have to use the roll stick very much and that's why it's useful in angle mode where you fly mainly on throttle and yaw okay so that's angle mode rate mode do we need camera mix angle and the answer to that question is no we don't but if you change to rate mode, so I'm going to just press 3 and change to rate mode here and it automatically switches me to beta flight profile 1. So now we're on profile 1 and we've got rates that we can adjust. And if you remember on profile 2, we don't have rates. It's all controlled by strength and angle limit as per Project Mockingbird. And rates really don't matter apart from on your. But on profile 1, which is our rate profile or acro mode, we are flying completely on rates and we don't really want the flight controller assisting us with only flying on the yaw stick because in acro mode we're going to be generally using the roll stick plenty and the yaw stick and we're going to be doing all that mixing ourselves particularly if we're a freestyle flyer we really really don't want the flight controller mixing in inputs that we didn't do and so we really should be going over to here and setting this to zero. No camera mix angle. And now the quad will fly very similarly to a five inch quad because it will not be doing any of that mixing of your to roll when we're in the corners. And so the quad will feel much more natural. It's going to feel much more like a five inch quad or a micro quad in acro mode that doesn't have camera mix angle turned on. So what else is there that we need to be aware of switching between angle mode and rate mode? Well, there's just one other thing and that is air mode here. So in angle mode, we have air mode turned off and we have min throttle turned up. And the reason we do that is because when you a flying micro quads typically you're going to bump into things because you're in very close proximity to stuff they've got prop guards so it doesn't matter when you bump into things but it does matter if when you bump into something 
the flight controller gives a really dramatic reaction to that and sort of powers you away from it and or throws the quad away from the thing that you hit and that's what air mode tends to do so if you turn air mode off it means you can bump into things and you don't get that severe reaction that throws the quad away from the thing that you've bumped into but if you turn air mode off it means that when you close your throttle stick your your props can stop and that's where this min throttle setting comes in because what we're doing here is we're keeping the props it's like a sort of a, an idle up to a certain extent we're just keeping the props spinning at minimum speed and you can set this to whatever you want but this will just keep the quad stable when you close the throttle rather than letting it sort of wobble around and that's why the min throttle is up at 1060 and air mode is off and camera mix angle is on when you first load up a micro quad because they're designed for angle mode they're designed to be flown in angle mode because most people will fly them like that and that's the only reason we ship them like that it's because most people will fly them like that and and all of the setup parameters are kind of centered around flying it in angle mode so if you want to fly rate or acro mode you need to undo this stuff so you may want to reduce this minimum throttle so it's not getting in the way when you're flying in rate mode you might want to go to down to 1040 you might want to turn air mode back on you absolutely definitely want to turn camera mix angle off and this will give you a much more predictable easier to fly more like a five inch type response on the sticks much easier to do your acrobatic type stuff with and flips and so on and you, you know once you actually turn camera mix angle off and set the quads up as if it was designed to be flown in acro or rate mode then actually they become far far easier to fly around courses like this in acro mode it's still much harder than flying in angle mode I'm I'm not going to tell you that flying rate mode with a micro quad is easy because it's not but if you want to learn to fly acro mode on micro quads then you need to go in and change the settings I've indicated okay so that was it that was really what I wanted to cover as I don't think many people have kind of picked up on these particular nuances of how the micro quads come when you add a new one to your hangar and you come into the sim to fly it it's all set up in angle mode some people just want them in rate mode or want to freestyle them and they're not going to fly how you expect until you go in there and start changing some of the settings to get them away from being tuned for angle mode and that was really the point of this video was just to highlight the differences highlight why some of the settings are the way they are and what you need to change to go from an angle mode micro to a rate mode micro. Okay, that's it, and I'll see you on the next video.